Oh, hello everyone. How lovely to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Sarah and this is my friend Sid and we're so glad to see you today. I wonder what you've been doing already. Oh, Sid and I are playing with water. <laughs> it's a lot of fun but we're we're having to try not to get too wet, aren't we, Sid? Yes, we are. We've put some things in the water and we found out that they float. They sit on top of the water. It's been very exciting. We're going to try a few more things. I wonder if you can guess, will they float on the top or sink to the bottom? Sid, do you want to put in these milk bottle lids? Yes? We're going to throw them in. This one's orange. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, Sid, look, it floated. Here we go. I've got a green one. Maybe it won't float because it's a different colour. Should we try? One, two, three. Oh, look, it floated. That's very exciting. In fact, it's floating away. It's a bit like a fish, isn't it, Sid? like a fish in the water. Do fish float on top of the water? No, they don't. They swim in the water. We've got two fish shapes here. You probably can't see them very well. I wonder if they're going to float. They're made of foam. They're very light. Oh, they're floating. Maybe it was just that one. Should we try it again, Sid? Oh, look, they're floating. They're not swimming like fish. Oh, well, never mind. We've got, what have we got here, Sid? We've got some sticks. We thought maybe sticks would be good pretend fish. Let's see what happens with, they're floating too. Well, I never, Sid. Have a look, this one, do you think that one? That's quite big, isn't it? Yes, maybe that one's going to sink. No, wow. Oh, have we got anything else, Sid? No, we've got nothing else. So what are we going to do? We're going to go, oh, hang. Oh, Sid, you're going to get very wet paws. I've got something over here that we can use for fishing. Yes, fishing. Oh, you don't know what, he doesn't know what fishing is. He doesn't know what to do. Follow me, Sid, copy me. I'm going to do it and then you can watch and copy me. Okay, ready, steady. I'm going to get my, my fishing net. I'm going to put it in the water. I'm going to, oh, it's a bit slippery. Oh, look, I caught a green fish. Yay. Sid, would you like a try now? Yeah, you have a go too. Here we are. Oh, which one do you think he's going to go for first? Oh, oh, it's a bit hard. You've got to learn what to do, haven't you? Oh, look what Sid got. He got the blue ball. Well done, Sid. Do you want to try another one? Ready? Oh, a red fish. Oh, you're very good at this, Sid. Would you like to try with my big net as well? Oh, yes. He says, yes, please. Here's my big net. Same idea. Right, here we go. Oh, here we go. You're going to, oh. What are you doing? Sid said he thought it looked like a boat and he thought it looked a lot of fun to sit in the boat and you want to go, he wants to go in the water. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? No, it would be funny, wouldn't it? But this net's got holes in the bottom and Sid, you'll get a wet body. We don't want Sid getting a wet bottom. Well, maybe you would like him to, but I don't want him to get a wet bottom. So we're going to go fishing instead, Sid. Oh. Deary me. Ready? Oh, the, oh this is a bit harder. Oh, oh, we've got some more. We've got a ball and two sticks. Last chance, Sid. Will you count us in? Will you go one, two, three? Ready? One. Oh, it's hard. Two, three. Did it get them all? Yay! He got them all. He got a red fish and a stick 
and an orange pretend fish, a milk bottle lid. Oh, Sid, what good fishing you did. What very, very, very good fishing. What? Can you see what he's doing? What? Oh, that's very heavy, Sid. What have you got? Oh. Oh, oh. Sid has got his Bible book because he remembers a story we were reading about this morning about fishermen who followed Jesus. What Would you like to tell the truth? We, we want to tell you about it. So let's put, oh, let's put everything back. We can do some more fishing later, Sid, but we need to clear this out of the way. Oh, I think I can do it without spilling. What do you reckon? Whee! I did it! No spilling! There we go, there's our fishing net, because we need space, don't we, Sid? We've been reading in our Bible book from Mark, the book written by a man called Mark. Here's the true story in the Bible. And Mark was a real man, and he wrote a book about some of the things that Jesus did and said. And Mark tells us that his book is good news about Jesus, the forever King, the Son of God. And Mark wants us to know all about Jesus, the forever King, the Son of God. One of the first things Mark tells us about Jesus, here he is, Sid. Here's the Jesus toy we've got today. And Jesus was going for a walk by a lake. Now a lake is lots and lots of water with fish in it and you can go swimming in it maybe and you can put boats on it and you can go fishing on it. And here are two fishermen and their fishing net. They're going whoosh and trying to catch fish. And Jesus one day was what, yes Sid, you can move Jesus, he was walking along by the water and he saw two brothers, Simon and Andrew. And Jesus saw that they were fishing. They were throwing their fishing net and pulling it in. And Jesus said to Simon and Andrew, well, he had to shout, he said, Simon and Andrew, come, follow me. And you can help me tell people about God. Wow! Can you remember what they did, Sid? Yes, they, oh, he's fallen over. They left their fishing net. That's it. Well done, Sid. They left their fishing net and they followed Jesus. A bit further along, they came to two more brothers, James and John. And James and John were with their dad, Zebedee, and a friend in the boat. And they were getting their fishing nets all ready to go fishing. And Jesus called them. He said, come, follow me. And you can help me tell people about God. <gasps> Sid, can you remember what did those fishermen do? <laughs> we can remember. I wonder if you know what they did. Those fishermen, they said, bye, Dad. And they left and they went and they followed Jesus. <gasps> Here we have four men and Jesus called some other men to follow him too. He said, follow me and you can tell people about God with me. And do you know what was so wonderful for those men? They got to see what Jesus did and hear what Jesus said. And then they could tell people about Jesus too. Oh, and that's how we know all about Jesus. Because they told people and they wrote it down about Jesus. That's such good news. Oh, Sid, do you remember when we were fishing and you had to watch what I did and listen and then you could learn to do it too? Yes, and that's a bit like Jesus. These men, they listened and they saw and they learned about Jesus, the forever King, the Son of God. Oh, I want to say thank you to God that those men listened and
and follow Jesus and thank you that we can know about him too. Shall we do that? Let's put our arms together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Father God, thank you that those men listened to King Jesus and followed him. Thank you that we can learn all about Jesus as we read Mark's book in the Bible. Amen. I would like to teach you a song about Jesus the King. Let me move these out of the way. Our song has got some actions and a bit of clapping. Are you ready? It goes, Jesus is the King, ruler over everything. Jesus is the one, promise one, the Son of God. Jesus is the Lord. He's the one you can't ignore, Jesus, Jesus, he is the king. Ready? He commanded the fishermen, hey, come follow me. And they did, and they did, and they did because Jesus is the king. Ruler over everything, Jesus is the one, promise one, the Son of God, Jesus is the Lord, he's the one you can't ignore, Jesus, Jesus, he is the King. Oh, Sid, we really have been enjoying reading Mark's book, haven't we? Yes, we have. And we're looking forward to telling you more about King Jesus. So come back again soon and find out some more about what he did and what he said. But what, what, oh, I think Sid wants to say something. Oh, good idea, Sid. We could play a following game this afternoon, couldn't we? Yeah, all right, we'll play a following game. I wonder what the children are going to do. Maybe you could do some fishing and remember the fishermen that follow Jesus. Or maybe you could play a following game where you copy somebody and what they do. But come again soon. It's been lovely to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.